Welcome in, Gemma. Yeah, let's go into that, shall we? And also tell us a little bit more about those ugly scenes afterwards when Ronald Koeman was leaving the stadium. Hola, Gay uh, from Barcelona. Well, uh, those are like the, the consequences that the fans were really upset, uh, very frustrated after the, the match. So some of them, it was about uh, 10, 15 uh, fans, they, they decided, decided to go violent when uh, Ronald Koeman was trying uh, to to leave the stadium in the parking some of them start uh, being violent uh, touching the the car and it was a really upsetting uh, picture the, the one we are seeing here actually the club issued uh, earlier today an a statement on the, the on this treatment uh, they are very upset so they they said something like they publicly condemn the the violent acts and and they say that the club will take uh, security and disciplinary measures uh, to that thing uh, never happens again yeah, it really wasn't nice to see. But in terms of the results, how has it been received in Barcelona? Well, Kay, it's been four Clásicos that Real Madrid go on in a row. That's too much to handle for for fans. And actually, the, the last ninth visits of Real Madrid in the Camp Nou, only one. Uh, the Barcelona managed to win, so it's very frustrating. I mean, we all knew it will be a tough season after Messi, uh, after being unable to sign uh, important players, but they really are in a dangerous uh, position in this ninth spot uh, in La Liga, risk of not finishing in the first four spots and not qualifying for, for the Champions League. Also in Europe, they are in a difficult position as well, being third in their group. So the situation is quite is starting to be desperate even we, we have to say yesterday's defeat was not that much frustrating as uh, what we saw against uh, Benfica or Bayern but it's a very complicated day today for Barcelona. Uh, what are the thoughts on how much longer Ronald Koeman will stay in charge Gemma? Well, that's one of the questions. Uh, President Laporta, uh, before the elections, uh, he said that losing will have consequences, and he failed to play that uh, on Ronald Koeman. We don't know how many patients we'll, we'll be having, but uh, there is a lot of tension, as, as we saw. So I think if there is no immediate reaction, and I mean before the international break, they are facing on Wednesday Rayo, then Alaves, uh, Dinamo de Kiev and Celta. I would say that if they don't manage to win all or almost all those four games before the international break, there will be probably, uh, he's sitting on the hot spot again, Ronald Koeman. And I, I don't know, Joan Laporta can, can handle this anymore because there is a lot of uh, criticism in the stands. The, the fans are back in the stands. And of course, uh, they are unhappy and they are showing that in every game. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.